Hi guys, it's Evelina here. I noticed that you guys really like this sort of fitness lifestyle videos on my channel. So today I am meeting up with Ellie Kemper and we're gonna be doing some yoga today and talking some fitness tips and it should be pretty exciting. meet the rise of the sternum with every inhale, the repress of the palms, the marriage of the sternum. Oh my, so good to see you. Sorry that I'm late. Bring the hands to heart center, and rolling forward to the top of a plank push-up, lower all the way down. Yeah. Um, I'll just do what you do. Okay. Breathe. How do you even have the time to stay fit? I could ask you the same question, but I think that everyone has the time. It's just making it a priority. That's right? a good point. Fear of Adrasana 1. Breathe. I'm just going to adjust my shirt. Do you have any morning rituals that you do? I must have coffee immediately. I will either go for a run or go to a spin class. A classes are so helpful so in terms fun. of motivation, right? You don't want to embarrass yourself. Exactly. Um, you know, some, some people say it's like, they work out because they hate their body, but you have to work out because you love yourself. You know, like treating your body, you don't like punish yourself with a workout. Right. I eat like um, a lot of what I would describe as like peasant fare, healthful grains, but they're big bowls of them with kale on top, beans, oh, maybe some scrambled egg. It's all very simple, but it's very filling and I hope nourishing. I feel like eat as much as you want, but eat correct. Also sleep. Sleep. I think that's so underestimated. The more and more I read about the importance of sleep. It is. It's like, it's also like one of the best financial advices you can give to someone is to get enough sleep. Right. <laughs> right. I'm sorry that I can't look at you. I'm very um, no, I'm... unbalanced. We're very focused. <laughs> we're we're, we're trying to do this yoga thing. women. Do you have any stories from when you first started getting recognized in the city? Um, I go to church and it was like doing the sign of the cross and someone's like, excuse me, um, are you Aaron from the office? Well, let's not talk about that here. <laughs> and how about you? Because you must have some stories of being recognized, right? Well, it doesn't happen too often, but I feel like every time it does is when I'm basically in my pajamas. It's so usually like, nope, not me. <laughs> right? Yeah, I mean, that's easy. They say, no, no, no. Uh, people say I look like her, but no, yeah. it's not. <laughs> I know I get that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to follow you on Twitter the other day, and I couldn't find you. What's up with that? I am not on Twitter. I am not on Instagram. I'm not even on MySpace. How do you live? Well, you go to bed when the sun sets, and then you wake up with the sun. You use like a sand clock. Exactly. Everything is very basic in my life. I feel like if one more social media comes up that I have to be on, I might just lose it. Because like there's like seven, and you have to be active on all of them. One more, I'm just about to lose it. You know, I'm sort of a stranger to social media, but yeah. you have mastered it. How did you start? Well, um, I mean, I just started as a hobby, honestly. For me, I was in school, so I started doing it for fun because I kind of wanted an outlet to express my love for fashion and right. just talk to people. Yeah. It kind of transitioned into something that I do now, yeah. which is really fun. Turn and twist. How's everything going on the Buick shoot? It's a lot of fun. We just yeah. shot something really funny with my pretend future kids. They all have red hair. They have That's the same. so cute. You should come by. Really? Can I? Yeah, can you come by the set? Uh, yes. Ladies, you there'll be time to visit with each other after class. Namaste. Namaste. You'll come by. So, this is my car. <laughs> Love it. Ooh. See, I'm the fun friend. Isn't this great? <laughs> no doubt in my mind. <laughs> what? Get no. ready for the windblown look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to the channel down below. Also, huge thanks to Buick for making this video possible. Definitely do check out their Cascada convertible car that's coming out in 2016. And on that note, I will talk to you very soon. Bye!